now we're going to add a image to SketchUp and scale it appropriately. So often you'll have architectural drawings um, that show some sort of feature you want to build. In this case, we're going to do the doorway from a chapter house. And here it is. So I've got chapter house doorway nicely drawn um, by someone back in the 19th century showing a little cross section of the archway, showing the arches, and showing the measurements. So to begin, we're going to bring this into SketchUp. So if I go to SketchUp and say File, Import, I want to make sure all supported file types is chosen. And then I can grab my PNG image and say Import. Now it's going to drop it into SketchUp either flat on the ground or vertically. I'd like it to be vertical, so I'm going to drop it here. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm going to click it and then expand it. And at this point, the size doesn't really matter either. So now it's in SketchUp, and you can see it's sort of a flat image floating in space. The next thing we want to do is make it life-size. So if we zoom in on it, we can see there's a helpful measurement here, 5.05 uh, .05 meters from the top of the wall to the bottom of the pier. And if we use the tape measure tool in SketchUp, measuring on the face of the image from the top and then straight along the blue axis, you can see it snaps to the blue axis, down to the bottom. You can see that in the SketchUp world, this is only 1.14 meters tall. I'm going to hit Escape. And I'm going to bring up my calculator. So if we want it to be 5.05 .05 meters tall, and it's only 1.14 meters tall, divided by 1.14, then the image needs to be 4.43 times larger. So let's scale it. I'll choose the Scale tool. I'm going to scale it from opposite corners. So I'm going to click, not click and drag, but just click. And you can see in the bottom the scale that we're going to use. And I'm going to type in 4.43, Enter. And now, <clears throat> if we use our tape measure again, we did everything correctly. Measuring from the top to the bottom, 5.05. .05. Great. So now this is life-size in SketchUp which means that we can trace from it. So we're going to trace the cross-section of these arches, and we're going to use uh, the path on the inner edge of the arch to create the arches themselves. 